Hello, welcome, and thank you for dropping in. Whether you're lost or you just recently found yourself, I'm grateful you're here. I'm Milky Moose, and today I've got Disco Elysium. Uh, I've never played this game, I don't even know what it's about, and we're just gonna dive right in and see, what, see what's going on. So, new game. Um, okay, Thinker. Since, uh, I don't know what any of this does. And none of these really seem all that balanced. So maybe let's 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 create our own. Let's do that. Okay. Intellect, raw brain power, how smart you are, psyche, sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. Is it Okay. So I almost wanna do like just threes down the board. Three is my favorite number, so we should let's go with that. Because three is my lucky number. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay. Um. Okay, so we get a skill. Signature skill. All right. Wow, these there's a lot going on here. Select your signature skill. The skill you select will gain a plus one bonus. Additionally, the learning cap for every skill of the same type will be raised by plus one. But I don't know what any of these does. Oh, okay. We've got logic, encyclopedia, fascinating trivia. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Practice the art of persuasion. Persuasion could be Nice. Lie and detect lies. Understand creativity. See art in the world. Construct crime scenes. Make laws of physics work for the law. Alright, so that's all of the intelligence based ones. Then we've got Psyche's volition. Put yourself together. Keep your morale up. Hunches and gut feelings. Dreams of making life. Understand others' work, your neurons, intimidate the public, connect to Station 41, understand cop culture. In this economy? No thank you. Charm men and women play the puppet master. I don't know. Take the blows, don't let the world kill you. Shrug off the pain, they'll have to hurt you more. Flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs. Go to party planet, love and be loved by drugs. Raise the hair on your neck, tune into the city. The body take control, threaten people, and then what we've we got down here. Ready, aim, fire. That could be useful. See, hear, and smell everything. You know, I might actually go with perception. Quick is to react. Sneak under their noses, stun with immense panache. Master machines pick locks and pockets. Oh, the the inner rogue in me is screaming. Pick this one. But shouldn't your back keep your poker face? We are gonna go with perception. So we're gonna lock that in. All right, here we go.
trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Looks like, looks like my character had a long night. That is quite the outfit that he has on right now. Okay, this art is, honestly, I love it. This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Sure, I'll take it. Empty cassette case. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was. Oh, okay, cool. So we can highlight things. What we got here? This real to real tape player is still on empty. What's this? some shoes. So we can go down in here. Alright, so we've already got our shoes on. Alright. Let's go get our pants. I Apparently I'm nursing quite the headache. Take that. We got our pants on. Let's get some... Let's get our jacket on and then we'll see what's going on. Disco ass blazer. I love it. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants them out. It says whirling in rags in the aluminum key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched onto it. It should open the door. Okay. But first, not going over here. See bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. Interesting. So it looks like all of our, yeah. So all of our clothes either add or subtract from different uh, skills, I guess. Mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the basin. Steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Underneath the soft paper. Really? Nothing? Really. All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood. Of blood alcohol. The fuck is that? This was no mere night of drinking, it was a deluge of world ending proportions. Let's wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror, abort, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there and you will never unbecome it. Okay, let's, let's touch my face something wrong with it. Where'd even begin? There's the bloatedness, the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Um, I will touch my nose. But you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it and it doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue is okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Who does this? Who just stands in the mirror and just, like, you just honk your nose and hold your tongue? All right, we're going to wipe the mirror. Ah, oh, beautiful. Behold! <laughs> this is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. 
too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're, sc you're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like... It's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? <sighs> this is... It's indescribable. You should check yourself for pulse because from here it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Alright, we'll check for pulse. <laughs> I got experience for checking. Wow. Interesting. Alright. Huh! Okay, so it rolls. Rolls things for you. As long as in the new third decade of the current century, enough time had passed from the failure of revolution that for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made golden champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style, but more importantly, disco happened. For Revercall, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume Mignon. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air... I'm not even going to try and butcher that one. Somewhere in River Call West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Who am I? Some understanding of the recent history of disco, the rest is darkness. How long ago was the new? Some 20 odd years. There's a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression looking good on you or anyone. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. So I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. I guess that's that. Um... Sure, let's try. I don't think I'm gonna make it, yeah. So now that's locked, because I failed. So we're gonna leave the mirror alone, we'll stop tormenting the mirror. Looks like there's something on the- oh, this looks like a tie. Did I get my tie? How did it get up there in the first place? Yeah, let's try and let's try and grab it. Hey! Swoop up and catch the tie. Snap, it's released from the thing. Truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The top remind the knot reminds you of a noose. Pull on the fan. Pull on the light bulb. Oh god. Bring it on. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know that was gonna happen. What is this door? All right. Doesn't seem like anything's going on over there. So what do we got here? Amberminus sparkling teeth, God, the tattered remains of the nation. Cocaine dust. So. Oh, okay. Alright. Not a lot is making sense to me, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. Officer profile incomplete. Locate halogen watermark. Map, nope. 
no, not that. All right. We're gonna run down here. Wait a second. There's something wrong with my window. Window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. And let's assess the damage. Pretty easy. Did I break it with my own hands? None of that is recent. More likely a projectile than a fragment to throw back in. Assess the size of the effect. It's too large for a bullet yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. A single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. I should I should go get that shoe. So now it shows so we have tasks. I have to find my other shoe. Green snake skin. The drip never stops. Never stops. We're gonna head out into this hallway, I guess. Let's check the calendar. March of 51. Hello, officer. Okay, so I'm an officer. Who are you? Okay. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Uh... No. Because you you're a police an officer? officer, so... Okay, I gathered that. You're I'm not. Me. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. You've all been here time? for three days. On official police business, no less. I couldn't what say. Is that? In truth, so far, mostly drinking. I wonder if I should just do this just because. Sure. Let's try it. Nah. <laughs> yes, I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> I don't want to say it again. Oh. I'm the sorry cop. Okay. You can't pull grade A pussy anymore. There are other things in life more meaningful, more fitting for a man your age. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Do what? You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster? A murderer? The gnome of Jeroma? You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stuff still smoldering. Delicious, but she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. We'll, we'll find we'll find them elsewhere. Find smokes and smoke them. Okay, what's something over here? This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump Live On. I know she's in there. Oh, she's in, she's busy. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll leave it alone. Up. 
being creepy police officer for a little bit. So it's over. I want to see if anything's over here. There's something on the table. Can we pick it up? Money! Alright. What's this? So far, I like it. I still I have no idea what it's about, but I found my shoe, and that's important. Reunited on my feet. Like two baby crocodiles. They don't look like normal cop shoes. That's fair, I'm definitely not a normal cop. How do they fit? Good, they're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Alright, and then... Got some briny wind washes over you. So that must mean that we're near some kind of... Um... Ocean? down the stairs. So, it seems like the stuff that's in green, the stuff that I interact with in the world, and the other colors are like possible skill bonuses. Speaker is connected, yes. Yeah. So this one's purple, which goes with. So it was intelligence or psyche, I can't remember. Definitely obscured by the hangover. I sing when it comes to it. Wipe that smirk off your face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. My new task is sing karaoke. I really. How about that? Tony stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposefully ign ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like oh, me. Oh no. You're a hero. A real hero, cop. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Am I? Or did you ride in? Take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room. I You're guess right. I can't do anything. You didn't, stuff. and it's only taken you three days not to. I'm no, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here.
confident work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken, and then is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. A small engraved steel tag says, the great squaw. Mr. Carraria squaw. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Happened to the bird. Look, your buddy is over there. Looks like the door is where a man in a bomber jacket is. Why don't you to go and talk to him, okay? Me, my buddy. He does not to hear you concentrate on the bird instead. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. That bird like of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so he doesn't seem to like me. Which is fine, I don't like him much either. For personnel until 1300. Okay, so what's this? Get over here. Okay. Who's this? Hello, sweetie. Cryptozoologist wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Okay. Guess that answers that. Kim Kitsuragi. Respectable. Man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. It looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. An assault were launched on this building right now. If the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as as on its back are the same enig enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Hold on, who is he to me? He is your half-brother. Okay. okay. So he Hello. did extend I'm Kim Kitsuragi, his hand. Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Yeah, we're gonna invent a name for myself. Ooh. Oh, that's not that the thing is I that's not a terrible name. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Well. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Dude, unfortunately, yes. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? So the scene is out It back. also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Okay. We'll have time for that, after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? So the body is still in the tree. I'm very obviously a terrible officer. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Let's just get going. So let's... Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on... Okay. 
we're gonna go talk to this guy first. Man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger where he holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41? Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? With Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Many, many. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Calm down, dude. Nobody's making you do anything. I didn't imply that. Detective? I have everything. You? Yes, yes. He means do you have questions for me? Like a police officer would. Behind the building there's a courtyard. Hoist him up on the tree there. How do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? He points to the west. First you exit through that, then to your right you should see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there, no need for the keys, the hole's big enough for the cavalry to fit through. <laughs> Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Um, I guess it is the business from conducting an investigation. Somebody's, you know, dead and all. Okay. No, oh, really, I don't know what that is. Ah, okay. Okay, so I had 40 cents on me. I don't like that he... What did he do? Darkness rides. Got my money back. Maybe I'll have the money by tonight. You don't know.
He seems frustrated with me. I mean, I'm frustrated with my character, so... When in doubt, number three. Oh. Hobo cop. Let's, let's see if we can try and trace my way back home. Street or an apartment will appear. Okay. Her. Okay, so that sign said summer door closed for the winter, which probably means that it's winter. No, we're not. My subconscious is really trying to fuck me over. Um, man is sleeping at the table wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads wild pines encircled by a logo with a tree. Him up. Maybe not. Not gonna wake him up. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head outside. Oh, yep, that's, that's how you run. If you snow melts in this wheelbarrow. The RCM in Martinez? What can I help you with? We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. Of course. Sure, we've got questions. What can I help you with? Fair. I forgot about that. Let's see if we can borrow. Oh, cool. That was quite kind of her. Okay, so it seems like people don't like police. Uh, that. Oh god, that's that's a whole whole different can of worms that we don't need to open. Yeah, we're gonna try and reconstruct it. Failed. Yeah. Cop habit, you look at everything. Not case related, but I don't care.
several footprints in the mud left by work birds. Alright, let's try and get an exact count. Hey, there we go. Eight pairs of boots. Standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. I've never work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 43. Number 44. Aberration letters are even the same make of boot, but number 41. So I guess like when he's actually doing police work, he's pretty good at it. Imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Aberration of... They were going... This is the one Let's say make a boot. I'm gonna go with like could be a kid. I don't know. So we got That is fair. Odd soul. Got someone operating the workbench for the pedal. Join our partner for a second. Observe temperatures would preserve. Tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week. Probably people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying them um, shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting rough, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Like a gremlin. Oh yeah, never thought, Bikuno. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Slob it in the dick. Oh. Stop getting high at my. Door. 
The rake, Kuno! You what should the throw hell? the rake at him, Kuno! What the is fuck this? does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener! We shouldn't do anything, you will see. Okay, then we're not gonna mess with it. Okay. Hang hey, man, the corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You did not have a good day. You seem to be holding your breath. Cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff, letting out an ungodly rot the smell. Active decay. of Kamatar red rises from the pool among it, distilled spirit, and bits of shish kebab. I'm so sorry. And a little headache. Some officers use it to deal with never an odor. But not you. I can't handle the headache. It's more likely he can't handle the smell. He can handle the smell, unlike you. like a trash compactor? Body is down when smell of garbage to the smell of death. I feel like there's something in there, I really do. It's an extrasensory perception. Just a hunch. How do I get the lock open? Try using a pry bar carriage or this the key. It's raining again. 
It was clear sure just is. an hour ago. Clearly a little protective of his tools. What can you do? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I might as well take everything that I'm gonna need. Take the radio. She seems nice. Two ten five. This is forty first. Come in. Scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking. How do you know? You gotta report my debt. My badge. Okay, so it seems like the captain does not like me. Dick, he tries to speak after. Born from the bestseller Dick Mullen of the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. Okay, gotcha. These guys are really mean. Jesus. I can't, I can't let them find out. I didn't lose my gun. Oh, okay, so he's not the captain. They really don't like me.
God, these guys are... Why? Okay. Should I tell him that I lost my gun? Hey, I got some experience. Oh. Okay. Well, that was... That was terrible. That was awful. These guys are really mean to me. Got a pry bar. So where do we... Okay. Right. They're going to... Come over here, because I really want to open this. So, okay, yeah, we're trying to, okay, there it is. What if those? Entirely dedicated to corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Every Monday is Cadaver Day? Volumetric shit compressor. Gotta get my shit together. I need to acquire a copy of the city map to do that. Oh. Alright. 
So we're gonna call the shortwave. So we're calling Sylvie. Proceed, hold on, officer. Do people just not. Okay. I was like, do people just not answer their phones or what's going on? Sylvie Malaika on the phone for you. If a female voice reads you through static, sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Okay, so I met her. Hello, officer, what can I do for you? There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. I don't trust what electrochemistry is. Does the union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The union would get angry. You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. It's interesting. Trouble with the others. Didn't know you had to report it. Thought someone would take him down eventually. So we don't know who made Pepper Thieves take the wires. We don't know who made the phone call. We don't have the money to have the cables put in again. The phone or the one on the coast. Okay. Next question: Why did she quit? Why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really. Takes take some time off work. Officers wear the signature Perseus black uniforms to the highest ranks in the RCM and end up burying them as well. Others do it more casually. Looks like you're one of them. It's eating. And what? You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. It got pretty graphic. to say first about that. That is cringy. No idea all I know is next you were waving around money instead saying things like big bucks cannot lie and guns can't buy money but money can always buy guns. It almost looked like you pawned it but believe me I did not ask. Have you seen my policeman uniform? I saw you and any you know, had your things on. The disco things. Oh, she she don't like me. Thanks. No, she doesn't have a problem with you. Uh... Turn to a spinster. 
Yeah, let's do without that. The act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that hysteric down. Tell that you got everything under control. Then grow and have a little boy's talk with Gart himself. I hate it. I hate this. I hate this. I didn't ask for this. Cause terminated by the other party. I love it. The love quest is on. I'm, I'm done with the radio. just actually auto saved for us so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here uh, I will come back to it and uh, thank you for tuning in and watching and we'll be back with a uh, part two and hopefully I'll eventually finish the game I'm gonna have some other let's plays out um, probably doing Greedfall and the sinking city as well so just keep a lookout for those Thank you so much for tuning in. 